friends and welcome to this week's episode. I'm so excited you're here. So you guys love when I do fitness videos and I love doing fitness videos for you. So I thought today, let me go ahead and shift it up just a little bit. So what I thought we would do is I'm gonna take you to the gym and we're gonna do a workout in the gym and then we're also gonna do the same workout with very similar exercises outside at this beautiful park. The reason I want to do that is because I really want to show you guys, if you don't have access to a gym, you can do very similar exercises either at your home or at a park or just outside someplace. So a lot of you ask me, Dr. Elizabeth, which do you prefer? Do you like the gym or do you like working outside? Personally for me, I've been working out in the gym <laughs> longer than most of you have been alive. Literally, I started working out when I was teenager. Gosh, I've been an athlete my whole life. So for me, my strong preference is the gym. There's just so much beautiful equipment, especially my gym, Gold's Gym Fitness. It's one of the most famous gyms in the whole world. There's just literally acres and acres of extraordinary equipment that you can use. So of course, that's my preference. But I like showing you an alternative because if you don't, for whatever reason, have access to a gym, you can still work out Okay, my beloveds, so I have to share something with you, and this just blows my mind. YouTube has been kicking out subscribers that have been subscribed to my channel. I just found this out recently. I'm really upset about it, and I'll tell you why. It's literally like kicking out members from our beloved family and community, and boo how YouTube, that's not okay. So here's the thing. You guys know I always talk about how we collectively come together energetically from all around the world and we create this updraft factor. We collectively help each other and we lift each other up and we support each other. And if YouTube is just randomly kicking people out of our community, that's not okay. How I found this out is a couple people had been saying to me, Dr. Elizabeth, where are you? I haven't seen your videos lately and I thought you left YouTube. And they've been messaging me, DM me on Instagram and also messaging me here and telling me that. Also, my roommate knocked on my door the other day and she's like, Elizabeth, you better sit down. You're not gonna believe this. And she showed me your phone. She says, look, YouTube unsubscribed me from your channel. Now, my roommate is not only my dear friend, she also is the editor of my book and she was literally one of the first 30 subscribers I ever had on YouTube. So I thought to myself, wow, if she's been unsubscribed, who knows who else has been unsubscribed? So what I want you to do is I want you guys to stop for just a second and go look at the subscribe button. If it's gray and it says subscribe, you're cool. Just hit that notification bell and you're good. If when you look at it, it's red and it says subscribe, it means they've unsubscribed you. You have to hit the button again and then go hit the notification bell. And I'm really sorry you have to do that. But I just, I wanted to take a moment to tell you guys this because we are all family and we are all connected. And I really am upset that YouTube has taken the liberty just to randomly kick people off of our beautiful channel not okay YouTube <laughs> you've been warned YouTube is not okay so now my beloveds let's get started with today's workout the first piece of gym equipment I'm showing you is the shoulder press here's why I love gym equipment all I have to do is sit down on this piece of equipment my body is already put into the place it needs to be and all I have to do is lift the weight. I don't have to worry about my arms being too far back, too far forward. Everything is already calculated for me. I just have to sit down and do the exercise. That makes life very, very easy. Also, this really is very efficient when I'm wanting to build weight. So as I increase the weight, all I have to do is lift the weight up. Now, at the park or outside of the gym, you have to really focus on how you're raising your arms. You have to really focus on how much you're raising your arms. You have to really hold your core tight. Now here I'm showing you two different variations. The first one, my arms are out. The second one, my arms are turned in. Both hit different parts of the shoulder. This is another one of my favorite shoulder machine exercises. It is a lateral shoulder raise, and it is wonderful. Again, the machine does all the work for you. All I have to do is put my arms where they belong and lift. 
I am sitting down so I'm relaxed and I can put all the focus and attention on that shoulder muscle. My beloveds, I know you've heard me say this before, but it bears repeating. The mind-muscle connection is very important and very powerful. As you are doing your exercises, regardless of whether you're in the gym or whether you're outside the gym, it's so important that you put your focus and attention on the muscle that you are working. I cannot emphasize this enough. It makes a tremendous difference in building your muscle, regardless of whether you're in the gym or outside of the gym. The other thing that's important to do is as you're doing these exercises, you can hold the exercise at the top for a couple of seconds. That really engages the muscle. And instead of just letting the machine fall down, resist on the way down. Now, as you can see here at the park, I'm doing the exact same exercise. And what I want you to think about doing, since you don't have the machine there, you're just lifting it yourself, think about raising from the elbow. As you're raising your arm up, think about raising from the elbow as if you were actually working on the machine I was showing you earlier. You want to hold your core tight, you want to stand firm on the ground, and you want to really focus. Next exercise we're going to do is the tricep exercise. So here in the gym, this is um, an exercise that I do on the bench. Now, this is more like an out of the gym exercise from the standpoint of I'm not actually using a machine, I'm just using dumbbells, but it's a great exercise. It's one of my favorite tricep exercises. See how my arm is 90 degrees to the ground. It's very important that you do that. I'm also holding my arm without pushing my arm up so I'm giving myself a little extra support and positioning but I'm not cheating from the standpoint of pushing my hand up. My tricep muscle is doing all the work here. And as you can see this is the exact same exercise. I just found a park bench. You can also use a table or you can use a couch. Anything you can just as you can even lay down on the floor. Just make sure your arm is at 90 degrees if you need to use a mirror to check uh, because sometimes it's hard to tell. And make sure that your tricep muscles doing all the work. Now, this is actually one of my favorite tricep machine exercises. I'm actually using the bicep curl machine to do my tricep exercises. So as you can see, there's actually a bench there. So if you were doing biceps, you'd be sitting on the bench and you'd be doing a bicep curl. What I do is I turn my body around and I'm using the exact same machine and I'm pushing with the tricep muscle. It's important to keep your elbows in. It's important to keep your arms on the pad. And it, you have to be very, very careful when using this machine so it doesn't fly back and hit you in the head. You really should have a spot or somebody helping you the very first time you use. See how I'm coming down like that? You wanna be really careful the machine doesn't get away from you. So safety first, my beloved, on this exercise. So here we're mimicking the exact same movement. We are just doing it without the gym equipment. When doing these exercises, make sure that your arms are close to your ears. Make sure you're squeezing on the way up and make sure you resist bringing the weight down on the way down. All right, my beloveds, here we go with biceps. Now, if you guys look, this is the exact same machine I was using when I was doing triceps, but you can see now I'm sitting down and my arms are still on the pad, elbows are in, and if you guys can observe here, I'm not engaging my shoulders in any way. I'm not using my shoulders to lift the arm up. This is all on the bicep. That's how you're going to build your bicep muscle. I'm just using and engaging my bicep muscles to push that weight up and resist on the way down. As you guys can see there, I got, see I'm engaging my shoulder just a little bit. That's a no-no. You don't want to do that. You want to keep the shoulders out of this exercise as much as possible. And you keep your elbows on the pad and you just pull up with your arms and that bicep muscle. Excellent. Exact same thing here. 
You want to engage your core. You want to hold your body steady. You want to keep your elbows as close to your body as possible. And again, you are just lifting your arms up with the bicep muscle. Your shoulders are not engaged at all. You're not throwing your arms back using your body weight. You're just lifting those dumbbells with your arms using your bicep muscle. That's how you're going to build the bicep. And again, the body-mind connection, you're focusing on the muscle you're using with every single rep. Next, we are doing bicep hammer curls. This exercise hits a different portion of the bicep muscle. So the secret in doing this exercise is you want to hold your body steady and you want to just lift the arms up. You're not throwing your body around. It's literally just the arm coming up and back down again. That's what's going to build that portion of the bicep. Now, if you're outside of the gym, you can literally do a hammer curl using the dumbbells. It's the exact same thing. You're going to hold your body steady. You're going to engage your core. All you're going to do is move your arms. You're going to lock your elbows right at your waist and you're just lifting your arms up using the bicep muscle. And as you can see, just by turning your wrist from a forward position to a side position, you're engaging a different part of the bicep muscle. Now, this is my absolute favorite booty machine. As you guys know, uh, in 2018, I decided to take my booty to the next level and really go hard as far as booty exercises. I do booty at least three times a week. And this, my beloved, is one of the machines that helped me build up my booty. This is actually a hamstring curl machine. And all I'm doing is using it in a reverse fashion. I set the weight where I want it. The most important thing is that you're lifting your hips and engaging your glutes. What I'll do is I'll do 10 to 12 reps and then I'll do five more reps holding each one for five seconds. That really engages and burns and builds the booty. As you can see here, I'm really holding it. So give that a try, my beloved. I promise you, you will be peach ready by summer. And now here we're at the park and we're doing the exact same exercise. I'm just lifting my hips and I'm lifting it off the park bench and I'm lifting it up in the air. I'm pushing through my heels and I'm engaging my core as I do it. And as you'll see here in a couple of seconds, I then lift and I hold it. And then what I do here is I bring my knees in and contract the booty. That helps build the booty as well. So give this exercise a try if you don't have a gym and you'll see wonderful results. The other thing I do is uh, I can take my weights and put them on my hips. And what that does is that gives me a little extra resistance while I'm working out. Another wonderful variation you can use if you're not in the gym is when you're doing the bridges, lift one of your legs straight up. This makes this exercise a lot more difficult and a lot more effective. Give this a try, my beloved, and then message me and tell me how quickly you're getting your booty results. I promise you, if you do this, you will. This is another one of my new favorite exercises in the gym. I'm using the leg extension curl machine. I'm just turning around using it in the opposite direction. It's very important to hold your body straight, keep your hips firm onto the machine, and all you're doing is lifting with the leg and engaging that booty cheek. That's how you're gonna build the upper part of your booty. Get that nice round peach you're looking for. And as you can see here, the leg raises that you can do outside of the gym will accomplish the exact same thing. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, you can go ahead and attach ankle weights to your legs and it'll build your booty a little faster. Another thing you can do to help make this exercise a little more effective is you can hold and pump little pumps on the very top. So once I've done 10 reps, what I'll do is I'll hold my leg up and I'll do 10 pumps in a row and engage the booty and the glutes and that really hits the glute hard and gives you that nice round cute little booty that we're looking for. Finally, to complete our gym workout, we're going to do abs. 
To do this exercise effectively, you want to keep your body very still. The only thing I'm moving is I'm crunching my abs. I'm literally contracting my abs and then bringing them back out, contracting and bringing them back out. That's how to effectively do that exercise. Now here we're doing the exact same crunch exercise. What's important to remember here is that you're lifting your shoulder blades off the ground and you're keeping your neck and head very still. I'm not pulling on my neck. I'm not pulling on my head. I'm literally lifting the upper part of my body from my abs. I'm engaging in my abs. You want to think about lifting your body off the ground or as you can see here off the bench and back down again. You can either keep your legs in the position you saw when I first started doing this exercise or you can keep them straight up like this. It's a little more advanced if you extend your legs straight up. But as you can see here, my shoulder blades are coming off the ground. I'm not pulling my neck in any way. I'm keeping my head straight and I'm just lifting from my abs. That's how to correctly do this exercise. And if you do, my beloveds, you will get results. I promise. Now, I'm really excited to share with you guys, I'm launching my Patreon community. We are going to be having so many really amazing and fun things there. Now we're creating Patreon. I'm going to have a podcast over there. I'm going to be sharing uh, a featured recipe a month over there and a whole bunch of other goodies. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, there'll be a link. I'll put it right here in the video and I'm also going to put it in the description box. Go check it out. Come say hi to me. I would love your support. I would love you to be a part of this beautiful community. It's really amazing. It's just just in a, it's a place for us to have more, just to have more access to me, more information, more fun things, and um, I really, really like it. I think it's going to be amazing. Okay. All right, my beloveds, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't just watch me do these exercises. Make sure you get up every single day and do them with me. I promise you, if you guys do these exercises now, it's only February. By the time summer comes along, you are going to be rocking a bikini body. I promise you. All right, my beloveds, until next time, you guys know I love you. I love you to infinity and back. I appreciate you so much. And remember, you can do this. And I'm here to help you every step of the way.